Hello students, today we are doing part 1 of lesson 7 from your science textbook for standard 6. Nutrition and diet. So come along then, let's read and understand it. This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share and subscribe. Nutrition and diet. Can you recall? Which are the various groups of foodstuffs? Now, daily we have so many different types of foodstuff. We have different foodstuff for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner and as uh, snacks. So, which are the various foodstuffs that we have? Yes, we have vegetables, we have fruits, we have, you know, fats, we have uh, milk. So, these are the various foodstuffs throughout the day we have. And can you name the ones you see in the picture, so here there are different food items that are given. There is some fishes here, there is some meat, butter, eggs, there are different kinds of fruits, there is a glass of milk, oil, here there are different types of grains and we have our vegetables. Which main constituents of food do we get from them? So, what do we get? Why do we eat all these food? So, we get, we have already learnt about it. The constituents of food are the carbohydrates, proteins, fats, minerals, vitamins, etc. So, all this we get in our food. So, Living things, all living things, okay. So, living things include we human beings, animals, even plants. So, living things take food and water and use them for a variety of purposes. So, we all consume food. All living things need food and water and we use it for variety of purposes. That is, different types of, for the different uses, such as obtaining energy. So, we are working throughout the day from morning up till night. Even during the night when we are asleep, there our body is doing some sort of work. What is the work? It is digesting food. It is, you know, uh, circulating blood. We are breathing. So, all this work, all the work that we do requires energy. So, we get energy from the food that we consume. There is growth of the body. So, our body needs food to grow. Isn't it? So, even if you have, you know, you are not physically growing, there is a lot of growth growing on within your body. That is, there are new cells formed. Our body is doing the wear and tear, repair of the various tissues and muscles and all that. So, the growth of the body never stops. Even your, though your height may stop growing at, a, at after a, a certain age, but your cells, your muscles keep growing. And to carry out the day-to-day -day functions of the body. During the day, we are, our body is doing so much of work, isn't it? And the last is to fight diseases. So, our body prepares, you know, with the food that we eat, it is able to fight the various diseases that may attack our body. So, the body is well prepared if we eat good food. So, these are the various reasons why we consume food. Now, let's read this. In living things, the process of taking in food and water and using it for the growth and other purposes is called nutrition. So, here is a definition of nutrition that is given to us. So, in living things, all living things, the process of taking, no, so taking in food, so we directly don't consume it. There is a process that involves even plants when they take, okay, they have to take nutrients from the soil and so on. So, the process of taking in food and water and using it, our body uses it, isn't it? Using it for the growth and other purposes is called nutrition. And the constituents of food useful for these purposes are called nutrients. So, whatever constituent of food that we have, that is like I told you, the carbohydrates, the proteins, the fats, the minerals, the vitamins, all these constituent, uh, constitute the nutrients. They are called the nutrients in our diet. Now, let's understand each of the constituent of food in detail. So, these nutrients, that is the constituent of food and foodstuff, we'll read about it in detail. Now, there are six main nutrients in our food. Carbohydrates, fats, proteins, 
fiber, vitamins and minerals. These nutrients are present in different food items we eat in different proportions. Okay, so all these food stuffs are available. The, the constituents of food or nutrients in the food are present in all kinds of food but in various proportions. In some, carbohydrates may be more, in some others, fats may be more, in the third type, some other food. Proteins are more, fibers are more. So, therefore, we have to have all kinds of food so that our body is healthy. So, we'll read about the balanced diet also later in the chapter. Let us learn more about some of them. So, we will learn each of them in detail. So, energy giving nutrients. Which are they? Carbohydrates. Our body requires energy throughout the day. Like I said, we are doing various kinds of activities. Even while we are sitting, we are working. Our mind is working. Um, our body is working. There is circulation of blood going on. We are breathing. There is digestion going on. Even while we are sleeping, our body is working. So therefore, we, our body requires a lot of energy. So which are the energy-giving nutrients? They are called carbohydrates. And how do we get carbohydrates? Carbohydrates, our main need of energy. Okay, so carbohydrates give us energy. That is the main, main constituent from where we get our energy. Now, how it is fulfilled? It is fulfilled by carbohydrates, and hence our diet includes a large proportion of cereals in the form of rice, chapati or roti, bhakri, and bread. Okay, some people have chapati, some call it roti, some call it bhakaris, some um, we have bread also which contain carbohydrates. Cereals are a staple food. So, staple means main constituent of food. So, carbohydrates, we require carbohydrates throughout the day. So, cereals give us a lot of carbohydrates. Therefore, we should have rice and chapati and bread or bhakri, whatever is the um, you eat at home. Then comes the fats. Okay, so what are fats? Some part of our energy requirement is also fulfilled by fatty foods such as oil, ghee, butter. So if you can watch the picture over here, we have our butter, we have these various kinds of oils and the ghee. Okay, all this is fat and fat also give us energy Okay, for the body. So therefore, we should have fats also. We get energy in the form of heat from the food we eat. Heat is measured in kilocalories. So, heat is given to our body when we have, when we consume food. So, this heat is always measured in kilocalories. So, the unit of heat is kilocalories. Hence, the energy in food items is also measured in kilocalories or we just say calories in short. You must have heard, no? Now, this many uh, food items will have this many calories. Sometimes they are also mention it behind the food boxes that boxes or containers that are, uh, you know, labeled. Children of growing age need to get approximately 2000 to 2500 calories from the food they eat. So, as children, because children also require a lot of energy to grow, to do the various activities, full of energy. You, know, you need to play, you need to run about, you need to do various kinds of activities. So, the for children should get 2000 to 2500 calories of food items. That is, daily we should have our breakfast, our lunch, and our dinner and the snacks that we eat in a wholesome manner. Now let's learn about proteins. So what are proteins? We need proteins for the purpose of growth. Okay, so uh, proteins help the body to grow and to for repairing the wear and tear of the body. So what is wear and tear? Because the body also goes uh, undergoes a lot of changes. Okay, it needs to repair, repair the worn out parts of the body. So therefore, the wear and tear uh, uh, it is repaired by proteins and for other life processes. So, so many, our body does so much of work, so many things are going on in our body. So, for all that, protein is required and we get proteins from sprouts. What are sprouts? When some of the grains, you know, we soak them and we get little Little small seedling that comes out. Okay, so those are sprouts. Your mom, uh, your at home, your maybe your parents may be cooking that 
isn't it so sprouts milk milk products so from milk and milk products what are milk products we have milk products like butter ghee paneer all these are our milk products even curds and then we also get protein from meat and eggs in our food so all these give us the proteins give us uh, help our body to grow so we should consume different types of protein rich food in our diet do solve the exercise that is given to you at the end of the lesson and to check your answers you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below do remember to like share and subscribe bye bye